Okay, uh, we are going to continue section uh, 5.2, finding probabilities, because that's exactly what we were doing, working with tables. Uh, so find probability, normal uh, distribution, uh, distributed values, and uh, we are going to learn how to find uh, uh, work with normal distribution and based on probability find the um, z-score. So let me uh, go back here. Let's assume we have our x is uh, located somewhere here. This x is located somewhere here. This is x is equal 600. So that means all this blue area, it's a probability. It's the area is nothing else but probability. Remember that. So when I'm saying how much is the area, that means I'm asking what's the probability this will happen in statistics. Okay. Mu, which is our average. It's not working again. Very nice. Okay, we'll go. Keep going. Maybe it will start working at some point. So mu is right here, middle line. Its average of population is 500. And sigma standard deviation is 100. If we indeed, if 500 here is 600, standard deviation is 100 for this element. So, we need to find how much will be the z-score, given the probability. So, first thing we need to do, find out what z-score is matching to our x is equal 600. x can be any number, anything. So let me see. This score is the one who is limited for negative 3.49 up to positive 3.49. Remember, we are standardizing. So the formula for Z score is equal X minus mu over sigma. X is our value. Mu is average and sigma is a, a standard deviation. So in this case, we are plugging all our values. Okay, 600 minus 500 over 100. Let me see if it's gonna work. Well, yeah, 600 minus 500 divided by 100 and that's equal one, <coughs> excuse me. So x is equal 600, it's going to match z-score that is equal 1. Here it is. If we not need to find probability for x is less than 600, it's uh, going to be matching z-score is less than 1. So before I go and solve uh, examples for this, First of all, and I should uh, have explained this uh, before even I would start, for which I apologize. Let me explain to you why do we learn this? What for do we learn this? Okay, for example, let's assume I, I am baking bread uh, about, uh, let's go based on this example. I am ba baking every week. Uh, in average 500 bread and deliver to Publix to sell, okay? And every week I pay attention, by Thursday all breads are gone, okay? Very good. Well, now I start thinking, uh, as a true business person, right away you are thinking, well, if it's uh, bread is gone by uh, the Thursday night, then maybe I can bake some more because the weekend is uh, the the week total week is seven days okay and uh, we assume uh, let's say i wanna bake um, who knows uh, 
700 breaths. Because if in average 500, let's say, so and standard deviation is 100, then I'm selling between 400 and 600 breaths in average, right? 400 to 600 because 500 plus minus 100, that's a standard deviation 100 here. So in average, I'm selling between 400 and 600 bread. No, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I can push to 700. So what am I doing? Um, I am <clears throat> I'm converting this X cell that is equal 700, converting to Z-score, right, through this formula, Z-score X minus mu over sigma. And let's say I got whatever Z-score is. And based on this z-score, I'm going to the table and find what's the probability. What is my chance of success? If my chance for success is over 80%, obviously I happily run to the store and buy more ingredients to bake more, right? But if my uh, probability will come out less than 50%, then uh, I'm smart enough not to waste any uh, money for buying ingredients where the chance is less than 40 percent okay so that's uh, where we use this we can find uh, how many how much will be the probability here we find z score and then we go find probability and that gives us the answer what's the probability chance for success okay Let's assume uh, I tried, I calculated 700 breaths, which X will be equal 700, and it came uh, at 50%, about 52, 55%. Well, I am hesitating. I don't know. 50, it's not good for business, 50, 50. Then I'm thinking this way. Okay, if this is 700, is 50%. Then uh, let me find out how many bread then will make it 800%. Obviously, it's going to be less bread, right? But I want to know if it's not 700, then how many? It could be 670, 680, right? So what I'm doing, I'm going to, uh, remember, we just learned in previous recording. Let's say I'm going to the table of Z-score, okay? Finding this 80% uh, probability, which will be 0 0.8 approximately, right? Figuring out how much will be the Z-score. We already know how to find out. Well, let's say 1.8 here is 7. So Z-score is, Z is 1.87. And then from Z-score, I can convert to my X from Z-score. I can convert to my X through formula. I will tell you how. And whatever X will give me, let's assume, let's assume, now don't hold me responsible. Let's assume I got uh, at, uh, about 670 breads. Well, that's much better. So I won't bake 700. I will bake uh, 670 breads. So 70 breads more. And uh, with 80% probability of success. And that is much, much better, correct? That's where you can use this probability. All right, so let's see where we are. Moving to this one. Let's see if it will work. No, it's not going to work. Well, that's okay. We'll survive with red color. So, a survey indicates that people use their cell phones an average of 1.5 years before buying new one. So, it's our X, right? 1.5. The standard deviation is 0 0.25 years. So, standard deviation is 0. 25 years. Look, it's a bright example how to use it in business. A cell phone user is selected at random. Find the probability that user will use their current phone for less than one. We need to know how much will be for less than one. 
before buying new one well i think with uh, nowadays uh, prices on the phone that would be unbelievable so people would buy uh in less than one year so the, because the prices are crazy but uh well let's see what will be the chance okay and we assume that variable is normally distributed it's crucially important if it's not normally distributed we cannot apply z score method so i would recommend you to write down this uh, data so you can follow me because i'm moving to next slide okay so here it is our mu average is 1.5 oh wait a minute let me go back oh in on average okay it's a mu my apologies see it says average on average i didn't pay attention 1.5 years that's why we have here 1.5 sigma is 0 0.25 so we need to find the area probability that will be less than one which is for less than one year so in this case what we're going to do we need to convert x that is one convert to z score right find out how much will be z score because to get to the table of probability we it uh, probability can have access only z score can have access therefore our x value we need to convert to z score and then via z score have access to probability okay by the way so far i'm using table uh, based on given z score finding values which is let's say given z score here it is if it's z score finding the probability value of probability okay so z score is equal x minus mu over sigma which is one minus one half over 0 0.25 negative two well the fact that z score is already negative two that tells me it's definitely gonna be less than 50 percent remember because negative z score meaning less than 50 percent and because the minimum of z-score negative 3.49 and we have negative 2 so if this is negative 3.49 negative 2 is not that far from negative 3.49 so it's going to be very low percentage as we would expect right i don't know anybody who would buy the new phone with a thousand dollars worth for at the price would buy uh in less than one year and as a proof to that statistics uh showing so we got z score negative two so now go to your table find the z score negative two and see how much it will be which means you are going to take z score is equal negative 2.00 right which means you are going to look find negative two point zero here and zero right here and that will be value probability for negative two zero zero so the value should get zero point zero two two eight here zero point zero two two eight which is gonna be if i move here is my position one and two i will get two point twenty eight percent this is what's the chance of people buying uh the new phone uh in less than one year which uh statistics pra practically is proving uh the point of our logic next one finding the probabilities for normal distribution let's see what we have here i would highly recommend to put uh, this um, uh, recording on a pause and uh, uh, start uh, solving on your own and only when you see you cannot solve it you can come back and check it or even after you solve it you can open and check it so 
A survey indicate of the and those are examples you can see how you can use statistics in the business in this case. A survey indicate that each trip to the supermarket, a shopper spends an average of 45 minutes in average. Forty five minutes with standard deviation of twelve minutes. The length of time spent in the store is normally distributed and is represented by variable X. Shopper enters the store. Find the probability that the shopper will be in the store between 24 and 54 minutes. So we have X1, 24, X2, 54. Remember what is uh, remind you when we need to find so if average is 45 minutes, then 24 falling on this side, right? 54 falling closer to 45 in this side. So to find this area, what we need to do, this is a shame I can't change the color. Hold on, let me go back. Mm -mm. Well, Never mind. So to find the area, I need to find the probability of x equal 24 or less than 24, rather saying, which, which will be this area, right? And then find the probability for x is less equal 54, which uh, would be all this area, all the way to the end. And when we subtract this piece, the whole this piece, we take and subtract from this piece, you will get this piece. Let's go look how we are solving. So here it is between 24 and 54, right? So we need to find Z score for both 24 minus 45 over 12, 54 minus 45 over 12. It's matching to 24 matching z-score negative 175 for 54, matching z-score for 0 0.075, okay? So, z-score greater than negative 1.75 and less than 0 0.75, we need to find it. So one more time, so I need to find the area that is less than a negative uh, uh, 175, and then find the area that is less than 0 0.075. And if I subtract the whole this piece area from this area, the, this area, subtract from this area, I will get this blue color area. And that will be the probability, the chance of success for the uh, customer shopper stays in the supermarket between 24 and 54 minutes. What do you think using logic? Is it possible? Uh, I think it's quite possible if it's supermarket. Yes, we are uh, staying there between 30 and 50 minutes indeed. Okay. And here it is. So if you look in the table, probability for z-score equal negative 175 is 0 0.7734. Wait a minute. This is probability for 0 0.75. Yeah, we can't have negative more than 50%. So this is for 0 0.75 z-score. And this one is for z-score equal negative 1.75. Okay. So you subtract from each other and you get 73%. And remember what I said based on logic also? Yes, it is... Uh, absolutely normal okay um 
so 73 percent which means it's a high chance so the people will stay in a, a supermarket between 24 and 50 45 minutes all right next example it's the same thing uh it's just the the previously we saw for one shopper chance to stay between 24 54 here we are looking for 200 shoppers stay between 24 and 54 okay which is going to be the result is 73 uh, the percent that we found that is equal 73.33 percent right so we multiply by 200 because it's 73.33, that's for one shopper. Okay. So we multiply by 200 and get 146 and 66 shoppers. But uh, we'll stay. If it's asking 200, so practically that means this is how we are interpreting if 200 shoppers enter the store there is a 73 percent chance that 146.6 which means 146 i'm rounding uh, not algebraically but meaning wise because uh if i round to 147 where from i'm going to take uh, half of the person right so i take one less so that means at least, uh, so maximum 146 people with 73% chance will stay for between 24 and 54 minutes. Okay. Next one. Find the probability that the shopper will be in the store more than 39 minutes more than 39 minutes so if we need to know more than 39 minutes that's mean x is going to be greater equal 39 right not even greater it says more than equal sign is not there okay so mu it's using the same uh, uh data 45 minutes and sigma is 12 and everywhere we have minutes obviously so x is greater than 39 let's see how we're going to solve it when we are interested in greater than 39 that means we are interested in the right tail right not the left tail for left this tail it would be x is less than 39 but for this one but for this one, it looks like X is greater than 39, correct? So we are dealing with right tail here. Okay, let's go ahead and solve it. X is greater than 39. First, we have to do convert to Z-score. Remember, X, you have to convert to Z-score. And then uh, at the, use uh, the table to get probability. So how much will be our X? If you convert to z score 39 uh, minus 45 over 12 so 0 point negative 0 0.5 so negative 0 0.5 and it's going to go to the right again because x is also to the right it says greater than so z score has to be greater than a negative 0 0.5 how are we going to deal with this Remember what we learned. If this score is greater than negative 0 0.5, we need to find probability for Z score equal negative 0 0.5, which will give you less than, I can even for precise less than, will give you this area. So whatever probability we get, then we take 100% because all this area is 100% or 1 subtract whatever we get here let's see so what's the area probability uh less than negative 0 0.5 it's 0 
check in your table and find the probability. Okay. Once you found it, moving to next slide. What do we have? Not next slide, next step. So that's mean one minus 0 0.3085, precisely what I was telling you. And here is we get 60, 0 0.6915, which is means 69.15%. That's mean. There is a 69% chance that more than uh, the, the, student, uh, the, the people will stay in the store more than 39 minutes. So practically it's kind of pushing. It's a less chance, but still, well, quite a few people looks like are going to stay. It's 69%. Uh, All right. Well, and now same thing is asking for 200, which means uh, again, we are taking this 0 0.6915 multiplied by 200, which means out of 200 shoppers, it's a chance that 138 people, it's a, with 79% chance, we can say that 138 people will stay in the store for more than 39 minutes. Well, uh, we are not using any technology besides of uh, Excel. In Excel, it's going to be norm distribution, normal distribution. Well, uh, since I showed you binomial, you can put this function and fill out uh, the steps that you have here, looking at this um, table. I mean, you're looking at this program here. Let's see what it says. Uh, the mean triglycerin level in the United States is 134 milligram. Assume that triglycerin of population of United States are normally distributed and a standard deviation, standard deviation is 35 milligram per uh, deciliter. You randomly select person from United States. What is the probability that person triglycerin lead, uh, the level is less than 80? So X is less than 80. So 134 is in your average because it says mean triglycerin level. So you have everything you need. Looking at this data, 80, 134, 35. What was our 35? Yeah, that's a standard deviation. So it looks like first number you are going to enter 80, which is going to be your X less than 80. Second number is going to be your average. Third number is going to be your um, standard deviation. And the last one you put through because whatever question will be, you can read it. That means it's a true case. And uh, with this function, norm distribution, you will get the answer 0 0.0614. Unless you have uh, the, um, uh, the uh, scientific calculator that taking care of statistical formulas also, you can uh, use this uh, function, normal, normal CDF, and plug this data, and you will get the result. But I would prefer Excel because uh, it's more popular in business. Okay, I finished 5.2, so I will record 5.3.